Waymo, the world's first autonomous ride hailing service, which provides driverless taxi services to major U.S. cities, is looking to expand into Canada. Claiming to be the world's most experienced driver, Waymo uses advanced AI and machine learning technologies to offer driverless rides. A sensor suite that uses radar, cameras, external audio receivers, and LiDAR, a remote sensing technology that measures distance and creates highly accurate 3D maps. The reality is, is this is very sophisticated technology being used in a very complex environment. It's not that easy to drive through the middle of a crowded city, uh, you know, whether you're a human or not. Currently serving five major U.S. cities and looking to expand across America, soon they will be serving London and Tokyo abroad. Waymo has global ambitions. Currently, there are no specific plans to bring their cabs to Toronto, but Waymo has registered as a lobbyist with the city. Waymo says they are engaging with officials across Canada to explain their technology and advocate framework. It will give uh, Torontonians choice. It will put Canadians at the front of the line in terms of developing this technology. We will have a say uh, in how this technology works, what the limits are, what the rules need to be. Canada has unique driving challenges. Waymos will have to develop its drivers to navigate through Canadian winters. And we can expect some viral videos in our future of these cars struggling uh, on an icy street, struggling to make it through uh, a particularly vicious storm, uh, dealing with temperature and snow and ice related challenges. Until the robotics can catch up and navigate Canadian road conditions like ice, cab or ride shares will still be human drivers only. Just last week, Waymo temporarily suspended operations due to a widespread power outage that stopped traffic and gridlocked parts of San Francisco Bay Area. They have since resumed service. I think we have a long way to go until the autonomous technology that we see in vehicles like Waymo's is fully developed. But the reality is we're going to have to get it on the streets and we're going to have to test it. Waymo may be making advances in taxi services, but how the company will handle potential challenges in order to hit Canadian streets is still unknown. For City News, I'm Beverly Andrews in Toronto.